Hello, my name is Kainton, the Tech Pro, and today we are going to discuss how to set up Python 3.6 and Django 2.0. We are actually going to do this together in about 11 minutes or less. We are going to complete this. Then the level is intermediate. The tools PIP and Visual Env we are going to use. You get to know about it in a minute. All right. So here in this link we have the procedure that I'm going to follow. I actually made it up and you can look at the description box below this video you will see this link. You can print it out and keep it handy and follow through. Just remind you to subscribe to this channel so that you can get updates when I make new tutorials because these trainings are free for everyone. So let's get to work. So we have six steps we are going to follow. Each one we follow we are going to tick it off. We are going to mark it that we've done it. The first one is download and install Python 3.6. So how do you do that? Just go to python.org. Python.org. Now if you go to downloads and then you see this. Sorry, you go to downloads, you see this. Don't click on this, just go to view the full list view the full list so you can see all of this. If you download this, you'll be downloading for 32 bits and if your system is 64 bit, that will be a problem. So what you are going to do is to click on this link here. This is slash downloads slash windows. I think the procedure is clear in the link I showed you and then you come here. If you are using 64 bit uh, windows then you download the 64 bit. Now this is the one you are going to download, the executable. So you click on it and it's going to start downloading immediately. But I'm going to cancel it because I already have downloaded it. So the next step is to go and install Python. So let me open the download folder and then uh, you can see right here, you can see Python 3.6.4 the first one is 32 bit. This I downloaded now is 64 bit. So just double click on it and install. Well, before we do that, uh, I would like to create a folder in my drive D where I'm going to do the installation. You can either create a folder on your drive C root directory or on your drive D. I think it's better to do this, although it's optional, but is very much better you do it. Right, so uh, my computer. Okay, let's run first. Maybe we can create. So here you can see if you install now, it goes to this place. And that is not what we want. So just go to this and then go to next. Make sure you click install for all users. In click on this and this. Now we want to install in a folder in Drive D. So I'm going to create a folder in Drive D. I've already created one. Python 3.6. So just go ahead to make sure the folder is empty and that is where we are going to install Python Python 3.6. So click on browse and then locate the folder you created and it is Python 3.6 so you can see it's spelled out clearly and then you go ahead to install yes install just close this alright so you wait for a few minutes and then I say a few seconds because I'm not sure it's up to a minute depending on the speed of your system so as it is, in, is installing we can just take some time to look at the procedure so I say is in, is in this link yeah in, the, in this link so let me copy this link and then paste in my browser so that we can have it handy as we walk. Alright, so uh, this is how to set up Django 2.0 on Python 
Alright, so we are in the first step download and install Python. So this is the clear procedure you can always follow. One thing about step one is that you need to make sure you choose the right version for your system and make sure you choose customized installation. Make sure you create the folder Python 3.6. You can give it another name, but possibly don't use spaces in the names. And then you are good to go. All right, so I think we can be doing step two as we wait for the installation to complete. So I'll create a workspace that is step two, which I've already done. I created this workspace, just make sure it's empty. So workspace. So create this folder in your in the root drive, either C or D. Alright, so so our setup was successful. So let's see where we are. We've completed download and install. So let's just say done. So create a workspace. I've done that as you can see. Now install Visual M. So how do you do that? Just click on the start button and locate Windows PowerShell. When you install Python, it installs PowerShell along, so you can actually type PowerShell and it finds it. So you go ahead to run PowerShell as administrator. Yes, well, let's close this, it's always popping up. Alright, so what we are going to do is to install Visual M. That is step 3. So what I'm going to do is to type the command PIP install uh, virtual m that is the command to use so in a few seconds it's going to complete successfully so we've su succeeded in installing virtual m alright the next step is create a folder to keep your website do this with a command so don't just go to windows to say right click new folder so let's see how to do that it says that is step four to create this folder navigate to workspace folder and run the command visual and local site local site is the name of the folder i want to use so let's get back to PowerShell. So I want to navigate to my drive D and uh, I think backslash is not working on my keyboard. Okay, so workspace. Okay, so I'm in workspace directory now. So the command to create this uh, folder is look uh sorry is visual m m then the name of the folder you want to create so local sites because i want to place more than one site there all right so it takes some time and it ends up completing the installation in very few seconds let's just give some time so this command will create the folder for us in our workspace so the folder is local sites which we've uh, created so let's go to visual to workspace open you can see local sites right there so we've done this step four is done right activate the development environment right how do you activate the development environment let's go back to the command prompt and then to activate the development environment we need to go to local sites open it and open the script directory and then uh, run a command so go to local site that is a the new site, the new folder that was created, and go to scripts. Okay, meanwhile, 
you can open to check what is inside so this is scripts this is where we are going to walk we are going to open so in the script uh, directory here we are going to activate the development environment so the command is dots and then backslash okay S minimize this activates so it gets activated so did you notice difference in the prompts when you activate it you can see local site attached to it so let's see where we are we've activated and then done finally we install Django so um, you can just exit from here cdd slash uh, okay so backslash y this is optional you may not always have to do this so pip install now watch carefully the syntax here django equal to two times you write equal to 2.0 and that will install okay okay so <laughs> so I think the mistake comes from okay there there should be no space there so let's just remove the space remove the space so everything should be okay by now so between the uh, equality signs there should be no space so Django is installing as you can see there So if you wait for a few seconds, it says successfully installed Django. So if you get to this point, you have successfully set up Python and Django on your system. And now you are ready to start creating applications, websites using Django. So we've achieved it in a few minutes. Remember to subscribe. It's, if this has been informative for you, also like and share with your friends. Remember to visit and print out the procedure so that you'll be able to follow it uh, easily any issues you can leave a comment below for me i remain the tech pro and i'm always there for your free training on it materials website development and other trends in technology